Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Quite excited about today's unboxing. We're going to take a look at this. This is the Phantom 2 quadcopter by DJI. This is a pretty much ready to fly setup. It's got everything you need. All you need to do is charge some batteries and go out and have some fun. So let's get this open and have a look inside. So inside the main box you have this and everything looks very neatly packaged inside of there. So let's uh, slide this off. So looks like we've got some some sort of cards here. I'll have to cut that open, I'll look at those in a bit. In here, I imagine we've got information so you can see this is from Buzzflyer, so they give me some nice stickers there. Some nice eyes to put on the front of the, uh, the Phantom. Quick start guide. Quick start guide in Chinese. DJI Reward Club. I think uh, if you can see they can, depending on what stuff you buy, you can get some points. And I imagine you get some prizes, oh not prizes, probably some, some discounts. Oh there we go. It gives you things you can buy with the with the points. Excellent. Right. Now for the bit really interested in. Let's get this open. Ow. Right, spin this round. So all nicely neatly packaged away. Well, we'll leave, leave that to last. So, oops. first up is the controller. Nothing too exciting about this. It's in white. There's a USB port on the bottom. That's for updating any firmware, things like that. So probably one of the first things you want to do um, once you charge your battery is both connect these two up to the um, to this software, uh, make sure that you're running with the latest firmware, everything's up to date, uh, and probably do some calibration, stuff like that. Um, both sticks return to center, and you've got two three position switches, power button there, battery cover there, and I think that is probably the speaker for the battery low level, and then on the back here you've also got it tells you what lights, what status the lights are underneath your quadcopter. Some tools, there's a tool there used for getting the props off. Basically, one of the nice things about this is that these are self-tightening. So, you know, I've seen people sort of not tighten props properly, fly off, and then a few minutes later, prop comes spinning off and down comes your quadcopter. Um, these are self-tightening, so you shouldn't get a prop spinning off. Um, that's not to say things <laughs> can't go drastically wrong, but it shouldn't be a prop spinning off. What else have we got in here? A little strap. Yeah, oh, one of my lights. I've just gone, never mind, we'll carry on. Um, uh, next strap, the receiver. And imagine that. Oh, here we go. So that cable there is used for connecting both DJI, uh, sorry, the, um, the Phantom and the receiver to your computer so you can update firmware, etc. And then we've got various power cables, a UK adapter. And then here we have the charging brick. And then this bit here will connect into the battery. We'll have a look at that in a second. That, there we go, it flips up there and that'll connect into your battery allowing you to charge. That's what we got. Looks like some other tool there. Because one of the nice things, you can actually get some of the other DJI add-ons now for like on-screen display. Um, if you'll do the, the iPad ground station or the PC ground station, you can do a few add-ons that uh, make it very easy. But there's a few little tools here to help you with that. Uh, 
two sets of props, nice and handy. You can actually get some prop guards um, just to help prevent you, you know, you, these are plastic and they tend to sort of chip and break quite easily so a prop guard might be handy to, to buy. Um, and basically they're colour coded. Um, so on the top of each of your four motors is silver and black so you basically can match up the right prop with the right motor, make it nice simple. Right. Here we go. Whew. So it's not quite as heavy as I thought. Got some stickers to put on, liven it up a little bit. There's the battery. And basically, um, the first push gives you the indicator. So that tells me I've got about 75%, so that will need a, a little bit of a quick charge. Um, but if you, to turn the whole thing on, um, what you do is push once and press and hold and that's it now on and then underneath you can see lights flashing away and then to turn it off exactly the same push once and press and hold and that's now off actually there's two two grips underneath it squeeze those and the battery a bit stiff but does slide out and what have we got a it looks like it was a custom battery, which is a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, 11.1 volts. And again, you can check the charge on that. Just press that, you know, gives you a quick indication. And the, so the way these two work is basically just under there, you can sort of see where that plugs in. So a little door that flips open. And then all that does, it slides in, you connect that to your power, and then you let it charge. And I believe it can take from a, a, a pretty much flat battery, um, you must never let these run down all the way, um, but from sort of to the point where, you know, you're not gonna get any flight time, it could take probably a good hour and a half, almost an hour and 45 minutes to do a full charge. Um, but yeah, I'll get that charging in a bit. Um, I think they, the lights just go off once it's fully charged. And then just slide that back in. Slide in. And then done. Now, I said earlier on, um, there's some of the add-ons you can do. So they've left a couple of the cables down. Now I've got a, um, a gimbal coming for this, which is, I believe, which was only just been released by uh, DJI. It's the, uh, I think it's called the H33D which will attach on here you can just sort of make out some of the screw holes that will also there's a little connection there and make that out and that will then connect to the gimbal and give me a bit of uh, a bit of control so I can sort of pitch up and down it will also allow to charge your GoPro because it's specifically designed for the GoPro 3 and I think 3 plus um, and well, you know, you'll be able to, uh, you know, obviously do some aerial footage. Um, like I said, there are some other connections here as well. There's the, I think it's the CAN bus, I think I believe it's called. Um, and what that can do is you can, a few accessories will give you a video downlink. So you can actually see what your camera is seeing also, which is great. So uh, when I get those, I'll probably do a quick video of how to install, how to set up those. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so you need to remove these, obviously these warning stickers. The, the props just spin on. I'll show you quickly. See, that's the silver, and that's got a little black tip on it, so you know which which prop to put on, which motor, and then they just spin on, um, and they self tighten. Um, anyway, that's it for a quick look at the DJI uh, Phantom 2. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, uh, please post below, and I'll do my best to to answer them. Um, I've got I have a few videos. I'll do some some flight videos, and once I get my gimbal. I'll do some videos with that as well so you know please subscribe um, so you can get to sort of notified when I put those up so again thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video